Hello and welcome again to the video podcast series by regionalfoottrainees.com, Tune Into Learning. So today we are back here with the brainstorm of the week question from week to April. Uh, and the question that we asked was that of the following structures which lie on the first rib and which are important to keep in mind while performing supraclavicular block, which of the following is medial most? And the choices that we had given to you were scalenus anterior, subclavian vein, scalenus medius and subclavian artery. Obviously the answer to that is subclavian vein. So what we're trying to show in this diagram is the uh, interscaline anatomy and the supraclavicular anatomy. Uh, let's try and begin at the C6 level. That is the level of the cricoid cartilage and uh, C6 uh, tubercle is also called the chassignac tubercle. So the first muscle that we encounter at this level is the sternocleidomastoid, which has got two heads. The first head being the sternal head and the medial, uh, the lateral head being the clavicular head. Next, uh, we encountered the scalene group of muscles. So the first muscle that we encounter is the scalenus anterior uh, muscle and uh, lateral to it lies the scalenus medius muscle. The important structure lies in between these uh, scalene muscles uh, region also being called the interscalene groove and this particular structure is the brachial plexus itself. Uh, and as the brachial plexus which forms uh, from the roots of C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1, um, as it goes down uh, it forms from roots to trunks to divisions and cords. So at the interscalene uh, area it has uh, the roots that we are interested in Whereas when we go down to the supraclavicular area, uh, it is the uh, trunks that we are interested in. Uh, so as this uh, brachial plexus is going to cause downwards, the roots are going to unite to form trunks, which can be then blocked at the supraclavicular area. So the anatomy at the supraclavicular area, from medial to lateral, is going to be subclavian vein. Uh, followed by it, the sclenus anterior muscle, followed by the subclavian artery, followed by the uh, brachial plexus, and which is going to be followed by the sclenus uh, medius muscle. And all of these uh, are the relationships from uh, anterior to posterior lateral on the first rib. Uh, so at the interscalene area, the brachial plexus is blocked between the two scalene muscles, uh, which is being the interscalene groove. And at the supraclavicular area, the brachial plexus is basically blocked above the clavicle, just lateral to the pulsations of the uh, subclavian artery. That's it folks, uh, so before we end, could we request you that if you liked this podcast, then kindly share that uh, with your friends. You can do this by uh, sharing it on Facebook, you could share it on Google, you can subscribe to our RSS feeds, you could share this on Scribble, uh, otherwise you can uh, log in uh, to YouTube and subscribe to my channel which is Herman Sembi 29 uh, So see you around later on. Thank you so much. This is reason for trainees.com. Tune into learning.